Hi, my name's Kyle Coberline. I'm a truck and RV sales consultant with Bluegrass International in Georgetown, Kentucky. Um, I took a video of this coach today that I'm sitting in, just a full walk around. Uh, at one point, I sit down in the step well and talk about just structure. And I'm actually, so I, I thought I did a pretty good job. So I'm, I'm going to take that segment about the structure and I want to make just a video that highlighted that so that people don't have to scroll through an hour long video trying to find the talk about just structure so we'll just get to it here's the clip that i did talking about the structure of how the renegades are built uh this applies to all the products with the exception of the classic the classics are built different but if you're looking at like something like we sell the valencia the verona the verona le explorer uh this applies to all that so thanks again for checking out one of my videos please like comment and subscribe all right, so before I go into the coach, I'm sitting here in the step well. I want to talk about construction because when you buy a Renegade, that's really what you got to brag about. It's, it, the biggest bragging point is the way that Renegade builds their box. It is a vacuum bonded aluminum tube structure wall. It's two inches thick. It's high density foam. The exterior of this wall is one piece of one piece of fiberglass, and it's in the interior is Asdale. None of those materials can absorb water and rot rust none of that uh, renegades floor is a super sandwich floor it is nine inches thick Let's see if i cannot jack this up you have three inch beams on top of that you've got two inch steel joist on top of that you've got two double stacked two by fours of course insulation wise you have a a high quality uh, home grade insulation it's a wool material which has a high sound deadening factor which is why they use that three quarter inch fur plywood and then of course whatever top floor you have insane nine inches so anytime you're looking at a motorhome for fun next time somebody your friend's rv or one you're looking at you can look and see this right here if i open up this box you know i can see the bottom of the floor well this right here is the bottom of the floor all right so follow this so that black on the bottom of the floor let's we'll see we come out here right this all the way up here so right into here that is the top of the floor so you have tons of real estate here as far as the floor you know why that generator is so quiet inside the coach why when driving down the road it is so quiet in this coach why it feels so much more solid driving down the road. I've had so many, this cracks me up. I've had customers, while well, I'm looking at X brand X RV, it's on your same chassis. It's on a Freightliner S2, it's on a Freightliner M2. I'm like, okay, well I've been selling commercial trucks my whole life and what you build on that chassis has a great effect on how that chassis performs and acts and re you just, so, even though it's a Freightliner M2, don't think that you go buy brand X and drive it and it's going to be the same experience by any means to drive in a Renegade. It's, it's, I mean, instead of getting some people's sales pitches, it's like two things you can do to really help yourself when you're a serious buyer and you just want to do all your due diligence. Go to the plant. See how they build a Renegade and then drive them. I mean, I've, I'm a no-pressure guy. If people want to come down here and drive units and not feel like they had to buy something, come on. I love having a reason to get out of the dang office and not sit behind a computer. So come on down. We'll go for some drives. We go down to the Kentucky Horse Park and loop back up the interstate and do some two-lane. Um, so that floor being nine inches thick, most manufacturers, either they either mount their floors on top of the... Sorry. They mount their walls on top of the floor... So now the issue with that is, you know, as you're driving down the road, it's the sway motion, right? So for durability, which that's most common is on top of the floors because that's just what they have to do. Their floor is not thick enough to mount it to the side of it. And then if you got walls that are mounted to the side of the floor, but now you have vertical sag issues, you know, gravity working against you. Well, Renegade, pretty intelligent. They bolt their wall to the side of the floor, but then they have a steel channel that sticks out. And so that that two inches of that wall thickness sits on top of steel. So it's not only is it support, you got nine inches that it's actually bolted, and they use some NASA. I don't know the name. I don't know the name of it. They use some like super NASA powered glue or whatever. I don't know. I'm making stuff up, but they use a really nice adhesive, and then it sits on top of a steel channel, and it's 
I mean, this is a 30-year coach. At the end of the day, it's a 30-year coach, and, and the box is really what you're investing in. And that's what's important to a lot of people. It's what's important to me. You know, nothing's more irritating than having a coach you love and you get soft spots on the floor or just structural issues. I mean, that's it's one thing to have to replace a microwave. It's another thing to have to have structural issues that have to be resolved. But that's pretty much talks about that. Now, another thing, too, I will mention before I talk, quit talking about structure, the... So I said vacuum bonded aluminum tube structure wall, one piece solid fiberglass as down interior. There's other manufacturers that can state stuff marketing, very similar. But they what they don't specify is how thick the fiberglass is. So when you look at the roof of another brand, it's called Brand N. If everybody's getting my drift here. The, and I'm not everything's got price points. So you you know, obviously you spend more money you should get a better product. The fiberglass on the Renegade is thicker than a quarter. One of these days, I need to get the actual measurement, but it's it's a it's thick. The fiberglass on other brand, and a lot of the other brands out there, so I was like, oh, one piece fiberglass roof. It's a sheet of paper. So it is nice that it's one piece fiberglass, but it's a sheet of paper. It's not near what it is on a Renegade. You can get on the roof of a Renegade, you don't see any ribs. You can walk. You can. It's a party deck up there. You can walk all over that roof now. Use common sense. Don't stand right next to where there's big holes cut in the roof. You know, like your air conditioners and skylights and all that kind of stuff. But as far as areas where that are, you're not, you know, within a foot or two of a big hole opening, you can walk all over that roof. If you want to go up there and inspect it and wash it or whatever. I did not recommend you go on your roof though because I don't, I don't want to get any legal problems. So stay off your roof. Um, but if somebody has to inspect that roof, it's easy to walk around up there. Um, mainly the reason, you know, Renegade doesn't put ladders on. I get that question. Renegade doesn't put ladders on their coaches. One, they're ugly as all get out. I mean, it just makes it look retro and hideous and not classy and clean. Um, and then really liability. I mean, it just takes no different than having a pool, right? You put a pool around your pool around your fence. Well, you know, you put a ladder on a coach. I mean, my my three year old would be guilty. He'd probably, you know, luckily my ladder on my coach is higher off the ground. <laughs> you know, he'd be one to climb on that ladder and get on the roof and check. You know, oh, this is so cool, and then fall off. Um, but that kind of, you know, the structure, and of course the roof is made the same way. So literally there's nothing in the walls and the ceiling structurally that can rot. Now, there are furring strips in the ceiling to give the, you know, structure to run duct work um, and to run like plumbing. Because, you know, your, H, your HVAC units, your heat pumps, they are plumbed with uh, condensation pumps so that you don't have the water running off of the roof onto the ground. Um, so that you got plumbing up there that runs that condensation down the, underneath the middle of the coach. Uh, duct work and then other electrical stuff for lighting and then you got the furring strips to be able to mount your padded ceiling to but as far as structurally the water's not going to degrade the quality of the structure of the coach 